Hey guys, welcome to another episode here. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different than my normal Let's Play. And what I'm going to do here is just a little bit what I'm going to call a Redstone tutorial. I'm in my Redstone test world and here with the Obsidian Generator that we made. And I just wanted to explain some of the Redstone because it's kind of unique, something I came up with. So I just wanted to share the idea and how I came up with the idea with you guys. Um, for the Obsidian Generator, when we press the button, we'd have the dispensers give a quick pulse of lava and in hopes that lava would come out, it would drop, and the dispensers would quickly pull it in, thus creating our obsidian. And when I originally worked, came up with the idea is how do I get a quick pulse? And searching around on YouTube and some other videos and some other things I've seen, I came across this quick pulse generator. Um, I eventually think the idea eventually started with Minecraft for Dummies. I'll try and leave a description in the, um, or a link in the description. And it's a really quite simple idea. You have two hoppers pointed into each other. Uh, you just have one item in there. And soon as you press the button, turns the torch off, which unlocks the, the hopper. The item goes over, turns on the comparator, goes back, and then it goes back a couple times and gives you a quick pulse. If you can see, if we press the button, and sometimes because I got some lag going on, you will get a quick pulse. And sorry, I just got some lag going on. I got 10 things running on my computer here. Ah, oh, just one of those times. Anyways, it does work, and this works out really well. Uh, the only thing is, is when I hooked it up to my obsidian generator, my pulses were too quick. It was just on off, and it wasn't enough time for the um, lava to drop. So I started thinking about it, how to adjust and make the timing longer. And I tried putting multiple items in there in the hopper, and that never worked. That just, yeah, it didn't work. So I thought, what if I had more hoppers? And I came up with this idea here. Uh, it uses four hoppers. And I think I was onto something. The only problem is the time it did went around all four hoppers. Um, this torch was back on again, so it wouldn't be able to do a second circuit. So I was trying to think, how do I make this button longer? I need kind of a longer on-off pulse. And I've used this circuit many times before. It's just a quick hopper clock, and I find it works great. It's really reliable and stable on a server. It allows, and kind of a cool thing I've seen about this design is that it'll give you an always on signal or an always off signal. And when you put a torch above either this redstone here or this one here, it actually turns it off. Uh, so by pressing a button, you can have this coming on and then off. So it kind of acts like a longer button. And you could actually control this for whatever length or delay you want. And right now I just have eight in there. You could fill this up all the way. And that would give you 16. No, I think it's about three, four minutes if you did the whole thing. Now I could have used just this in, in my obsidian generator. That probably would have just solved the problem. Um, but I was still kind of stuck on this idea with the quick pulse idea. So I decided I'd put this uh, whoops, this idea together with this one. And that's when I got to this idea here. And that's what we used in our Obsidian Generator. And this works out pretty cool. And... If we watch that comparator right there, when we press the button, we get one pulse and two pulses. And you can see that is actually a lot longer 
than if we had just two. And that worked out pretty good. Um, it just kind of created this longer double pulse on a push button that works out great. So as I was sitting there playing around with this, I thought, hey, how big can I make this? Or how much of a circuit can I make on this? And so I came over here and I started, hey, if we can do four, could we do eight? And I started playing with this and all I did is adjusted the time of this clock by adding more items. And the other thing I noticed, this comparator, it can be on, it can't be on the first one, but it can be on the second, third, or fourth one. So this kind of created, let's see, one, two. So you can see that actually worked out pretty good. And if you want, you could even change your timing even a lot longer. Oops. I just added more hoppers. So if we go on, and then, now, as I was looking at this, this could actually have multiple uses. You could have one comparator here. You could have another one here. You could actually have a number of different uses going off of this circuit. And it could actually be able to control if you had, like, some gates going up or some... Things where you needed delayed timings, you could actually do that along here. You can actually do quite a number of ideas with this whole idea. The other thing, what else could you do with this? Um, if you left this, if you left this longer, we threw in 45 now, you could actually have one Let's count how many pulses we get. Two. And we might be able to even get a third. Are we going to get four? And four. So you could actually have it where four pulses just by controlling the number. So I'm not quite sure what you needed need that for, but I'm sure some of you might have come across the need for that. So anyways, guys, this is just kind of my um, quick summary of what I did here. I'm going to call this maybe my extended double pulse generator. I'm not sure quite yet. haven't quite come up with a name with it for it yet, but I hope that kind of explains this little redstone circuit. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.